Hello, G'day, it's Robbie again. Uh, in my last video you would have seen my spanning beam lathe stand that I've got for the old, well for my, both my lathes, but here's the original one for the old CQ9325 and as you can see uh, under the lathe I've stand I've got just some wooden drawers uh, with bits and pieces, all my bits and pieces in there and uh, uh, included in that is my collet set that I use quite often and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Yeah, well there they are, they're just sitting in there in their little boxes floating around and I thought for a long time it'd be nice to make up a a rack, just a piece of wood board with holes drill, board through it for the collets to sit in. But I really didn't want to put it in the drawer here because there's plenty of other stuff I really want to put in here and I thought well, what I could do is mount something um, under the shoreblum and uh, I looked around to see what was available as far as you know sets of pull out sliding drawers you know metal ones and they're all really expensive and uh, anyway, I, I watched Gumtree quite a bit and I'll show you what I picked up that I'm going to cannibalize to put my collet set in right here we go got this off a of gum tree for 10 bucks and it's an old toolbox and uh, got drawers which are deep enough to take my collets so for 10 bucks I've got a nifty little unit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to and I want to fit this under the bench uh, the Shorblin lay stand I'm going to take the lid off and just basically have it so I can just toss stuff in the top take the lid off, ditch that and then in here I'm going to um, make up some racks to put my collets in and then I can put other stuff in the bottom as well so how's that for 10 bucks eh? I mean take the catches off, throw them away and uh, so you'll basically just have the bottom section open just cannibalise it so, and besides <laughs> that for me 10 bucks I also got another cantilever toolbox which I'm selling uh, to get rid of cover my 10 buck cost and I got a whole bunch of tools tossed in as well yes yeah, so I got all the tools in the tray thrown in as well there's a whole lot of stuff in there I'll go through them all and uh, so I got a whole lot for 10 bucks you can't beat the old gum tree she's pretty good really uh, I made some amazing buys of it over the years and I sell stuff too you would have seen I had previously an AEM an orange AEM welder in here, 130 amp job. I sold that for 65 bucks the other day. I picked this welder up off a of gum tree without the big heavy cables, which the heavy duty cables came from my other one. This is 160 amp peerless, 35 bucks. Ha! How'd you go, eh? So you upgrade and make money. So this is why gum tree and Craigslist are great. If you're careful and know what you're doing, you can actually uh, upgrade your gear and make money. Anyway, we'll get back to the uh, to the old toolbox. So to take these apart, all you do is open her up. There's a there's a strip of steel here which goes there's the big hinge that goes through the back. You just knock that part way through and then pull it out with a pair of pliers. Make sure the lids that the drawers are part when you open when you do this. Once you've taken this this uh, pivot pin out, you just lift the lid off. So. The lid's off. Now what we're going to do is take off the hinges. We don't want the uh, take off the locks, the latches. We don't want those. So we're just going to drill them out with a with a, with the old drill. So just get a drill bit which is bigger than the hole. And just drill the ends off. We'll do that. Seems you know a pity to waste a good toolbox, but I mean you know ten bucks. Who cares? I mean cheap, dirt cheap. Uh, just drill them out. Right, so she's all reasonably clean. I'll give her a good wash down after. The next step now will be that as this is going to go in under the bench, I'm going to cut out a section through here. I'll leave half the depth of the shelf, but I'll cut through and along, and that section there will come out. That may, that that'll allow me to easily reach in and uh, put stuff in and out. Um, 
And to do that, I'll use my little uh, air die grinder uh, with a um, with a friction disc in it. So a few few minutes work with the old uh, air cutter. I've taken that front section out and uh, smoothed off the edges so I don't cut myself. So now I can go under the bench. I can just put stuff in in the shelf area. I've got the pull out drawers. I'll make up some racks to put the collets in. Give it all a good clean and a wash down. And uh, maybe a bit of paint even. You never know. <laughs> I might be feeling generous. So for 10 bucks, well, hopefully it'll cost me nothing because I'm going to sell the bits that uh, came with it. I'll have a nice set of drawers uh, that'll sit under the Shawblin. Um, Lace stand, I'll show you. And here it is under the uh, under the lathe stand and cleaned her up. So now the next thing is to make up a wooden rack to go in there out of some um, particle board and uh, put the collets in there. Oh, I've cut a piece of particle board uh, to size to drop in the drawer and now I've laid out my some of my collets on there to get the spacing right. Um, I've had to move them slightly this way to allow for the overhang of the toolbox. So basically there'd be three rows coming right through and I'm going to just drill them out with a, uh, a little hole saw. So I'll work out the measurements uh, exactly and uh, I'll have a couple of holes left over but that won't matter so um, yeah. Uh, that's where we're at. At this stage I've made up the uh, the rack to go in which is just some um, high density um, compressed uh, wood board and I've just uh, used a 30 mil um, cut out gadget to uh, cut the holes and uh, this is the bottom we're looking at and uh, I've got some uh, some bit extra bits of M uh, MDF or MFD, or it's called this particle board anyway. Um, which I've got glued on the bottom just to give it some lift off of the uh, off of the bottom of the tray, so that the the collets when they're fitting will come through, but they won't actually sit on the bottom. I'll just sit a little bit above it. So uh, yeah, once the glue dries, I'll uh, I can just put it in the uh, in the drawer, and we're good to go. Uh, that's it for now. Um, I'll show you a bit more as it goes along. While the glue was drying, I uh, I screwed or bolted a um, a metal strip um, full width across uh, the front of the toolbox to reinforce the, the front because I'd be putting heavy chucks and stuff in here. It wasn't too bad. It was fairly strong, being right angle, but. Uh, by putting extra strip of steel through there, um, yeah, it's not going to uh, sag at all. And uh, I just used some screws I had from computer cases that I just uh, tapped and put them in. Turned out okay. So, now we'll uh, try our collet rack in it and just see how it fits. So here she is. Pretty nifty, eh? There you go. What it is now is the collops to go in, put it under the uh, under the bench, and we're good to go. So, uh, yep, going to be pretty good, I think. Well, we've had a bit of a snag. I have to redesign it slightly. The <laughs> minor detail. Well, I've got the the shelf out with all the collops, and the weight of the collops is tending to tip the box down and it could tip over without the chuck. I mean, if I put the chucks and the stuff on the top, the sheer weight of stuff would stop it tipping. But to do the job properly, what I'm going to do is, on the back, I'll just get a piece of uh, angle iron, small stuff, and I'll just pop rivet it onto the base of the, uh, the back of the box, and I'll be able to then just put a couple of bolts down through the shelf um, that goes under the, uh, the lay stand, and that'll just stop it from tipping forward. So. That's the next part of the job.
I've now added a couple of right angle brackets at the back and they just take some a uh, couple of gutter bolts and that'll stop it tipping forward um, when I pull the drawers out. I mean with all this chuck and everything and stick all the gear in it, it wouldn't have probably moved anyway but this will do a good job of it. And I put them on the back. I was thinking about putting them on the side in the middle but uh, it, the bolt would have got in the way of, well one of the stringers under, under the bench would have got in the way where I want to bolt it through so at the back will be alright. So now it's a matter of uh, put it into place and see how it works. Well, there she is, all fitted, come in nice and solid. There's my collets, nicely spaced so you can get them easy, and uh, plenty of spare spots left to add a few more if I need to. That's pretty good. And I've got to draw at the bottom for bits and pieces calipers and wrenches and spare chuck jaws and knurling and yeah so for the grand sum of nothing which is what it cost me I've got myself a nice little set of drawers and an extra shelf so the chuck and the test indicator a few things so yeah you know uh, it turned out all right uh, I haven't painted it I just washed it over with uh, with a bit of metho and uh, wiped an oily rag over it and Considering how it looked when I first got it, it turned out pretty good. So there you go, there's an easy way to get some shelves and drawers for your, for your lathe and get your collets stored away nice and neat and uh, <laughs> I'm a lot happier now. So, uh, good little project. Okay, that's it. See you next time. Cheers.